Hello and welcome to SAS Guru. In this video, we will create a calculated insight to calculate the sum of total loyalty points accrued per unified individual and individual. First, let us understand how these loyalty points are stored. If you remember, they are stored in sales order DMO. So let's use query editor to understand how the data is stored. Go to the data exploration query editor, then engagement, and then sales order. Let's look at the table and its API names. So the API name of sales order is this in which the loyalty points accrued are stored in this column. The customer is linked via this sold to customer ID. Now let's run a query. You will notice these are the loyalty points accrued for these orders which are placed by these customers. So that's the first table that, that we have to consider. Now we know that all these engagement related information, if they are linked to an individual, will also have to query the individual object. So let's go back to the profile. Go to individual. The object will be individual. And the fields that we are interested are as individual, ID. Now we also have unified individual. So that object will be this, and the fields we are interested are the ID of the individual. And finally, we know that unified individual and individual are linked via unified linked individual. For that, the object is this, and the fields we are interested in are source record ID, which points to the individual record. So, using these objects and these fields, let us create a query. Select we need sum of loyalty points accrued from sales order object. So let's do a sum here as total loyalty points underscore underscore C. So this is the measure. We are doing the sum on the measure, but we also need two dimensions, the individual ID from unified individual and individual ID from individual. So let's use the table name dot column name, the table or object name and field name notation. Let's call it as unified, individual. Then this will be followed by individual table name, dot column name, or individual object dot field name, as a customer ID from the sum is on sales order. So that will be in from clause. And this sales order will be joined with unified link individual object. So this will join with individual identity link or unified individual link. So let's confirm the object name individual identity link, but the name object is unified link individual, on which columns will be compared with the sold to customer ID from sales order will be matched with source record I did from unified individual identity link. So let's do that dot sold to customer ID equal to unified identity link dot source record. ID. So we have reached sales order to unified link individual. We have to traverse to unified individual. So join on unified individual on the unified record ID of unified individual link matches with the ID of unified individual. Next and the last joint is we have to join on individual. So that will be this object on the ID field of individual matches with the source record ideas of unified link individual, and since we are using sum, which aggregation, we have to use group by unified individual and customer ID. So this is the final quill that we're going to use in calculated insights. Next, we will be creating calculated insights using the SQL that was created. To do that, go to calculated insights. We will create it with SQL and there are multiple options available. One way is to use a builder. If there are already existing insights, you can create them from a package. Additionally, you can create streaming insights and generate them from the data kit. We are going to create it with SQL. Next, the name of the calculated insight will be total loyalty points per customer and we are going to paste the query that was created earlier and check the syntax. There is an issue that the customer ID should end with underscore C. So let's do that and then check the syntax. It works. Next, we are going to activate it. 
so click on Activate. We can schedule it every 6 hours, 12 or 24 hours. But in this example, we will select the Not Schedule option. Click Enable. This starts the batch process, which will calculate these insights and load them into this total loyalty points per customer. See I.O. option or Calculated Inside Object. To start the batch, click on Publish Now and the current batch status is pending. It's a batch process. It will take some time to complete the execution. After completion of the batch job, going back to the calculated insights, you will see that last run was successful, which means the calculated insights have calculated the total loyalty points per customer. And you can find that in this object, total underscore loyalty underscore points underscore per underscore persimmer underscore CIO. We can query this object using both Data Explorer and Query Editor. But we are going use Query Editor. Let's jump to Query Editor. Use Data Exploration Query Editor. Now in the calculated insights, we will find these insights total loyalty points per customer. There are two dimensions unified individual and customer ID. And there is a major total loyalty points. Let's run a query and see all the records in this segment or in this calculated insight. Let's analyze it deeper and order this by total loyalty points descending and run the query. You will see that customer 003 with this unified individual ID has the maximum number of loyalty points of 5,960 and so on.